Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this presentation of Lakeside Lady Ram Basketball on Lakeside TV. I'm Senior Max Story with fellow Senior Dave LaSalle, and tonight the Lakeside Rams will be facing off uh, against a conference rival, the Benton Panthers. Um, this broadcast is brought to you tonight by our Alliance Bank, Rockstar One Clinic, National Park College, and our basketball season sponsor, Fountain Touch Roofing. So, uh, David, we got a pretty, pretty good one here tonight, don't we? Yeah, you know, this matchup, it, it's, it's going to be a fun one. I think both these teams are very evenly matched. Met up, did not go uh, points. Even though these teams have the exact same conference, Lakeside has a better record. But these ladies are both these teams are uh, the exact same conference record uh, in oh, wow. in conference. Yeah, one thing note is that Bitten has lost the last three games, so Lakeside may be able to capitalize on that and uh, have some momentum in their favor. Yeah, you know, it makes you wonder, ladies, you know, is someone hurt? Is, uh, uh, what are they missing these past three games? Uh, yep, yep. Uh, but, you know, so that that gives Lakeside the momentum going into this matchup. Yes, it does. Uh, we got starting lineups getting up underway. It is uh, not basketball season senior night, but it is the last home game they will have. Um, so, you know, the Lady Rams are going to want to put on for their fans tonight and themselves. Yeah, the boys and girls team both trying to get a, a final win uh, for their the end of their home season, you know. I mean, you know, the girls, this won't be the last time they've basketball this season. Boys, they uh, weren't too hot, but uh, girls played very well. Lady Rams looking to go ahead and a big win against these Lady Panthers. So for Lakeside Saturday night, you got Corey Wilson, three, 
Uh, number 11, Mackenzie Williams. Number 22, Molly Reeves. Number 10, Ava Allison. And... Pretty solid lineup. Yeah, this seems this seems to be the the lineup that they're most comfortable with. I feel like most games they they start off with these five ladies, uh, even though we've we've seen different combinations. Yep. Oh, stop! It's by the ref. <sighs> Give me that. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, oh, Jim Coach Williams got to gotta, gotta get it. Gotta get a feel on it. Make sure it's a good enough ball Dribble. for. Her, her, or his, uh, his team to play with. <laughs> all right. Oh, he has not done that all year. Maybe he wants something to different to start off the game. So Benton's gonna win the tip off. Williams with a good defense early on. Yeah, but Benton they lost uh, last three against Nashville, Lake Hamilton, and Sheridan. Um, and Lakeside has been able to beat Sheridan and Lake Lake Hamilton at home. So hopefully they can do the same here tonight. Quick foul there drawn by Benton. Rogers gonna pick up her first of the night. Uh, Lakeside off early with some foul trouble. Uh, they their keys to victory almost every week are to stay away from that kind of business, you know. Uh, hopefully they don't do any more of that. I sure hope not, David. <laughs> Second free throw is no good. Rebounded by Wilson. But Benton does get off to an early 1-0 lead, diving 30 seconds into this game. So Williams going to drive on the right side. Allison, she's going to put up a three-pointer, and no good. Rebounded by Rogers. Going to put up in the paint off the backboard. Easy shot for her. I mean, I, I wouldn't call it that easy, Mag. That looked, that looked <laughs> quite difficult, but, you know, she, she's just that skillful of a player. She makes it look easy. I mean, for Amelia Rogers, I mean, you got to know. Not a lot of hard shots for her. Williams... Good little steal by her. Rogers going to end up with it. Wilson going to find Reeves. Reeves back to Williams. Lakeside trying to find some open shot here. Good screen by Reeves. Rogers to Wilson. Wilson's going to put up a three. No good. Just off the mark there by Wilson. It's going to be called out of bounds on Rogers. And Benton's going to get the ball. Now, you see number 35 here for Benton playing with the face mask. That's one way to strike fear into your opponent's hearts. It is. I mean, usually, you know, if you're playing with a face mask, that pretty much means you're a dog. You know, you got Kyrie, yeah. yep. LeBron. Mm -hmm. I mean, all, all the players' best games usually come with mask on. Yeah, you know, she, she's in good company with the mask on. Uh, Big pocket by Williams. Looking to go all the way. He's gonna slow it down though. Lakeside with the 2-1 lead. See if they can make it a little bit more of a lead with this offensive possession. Rogers gonna put up a three from the corner. It's good! Whoa. And with the defender right in her face, she still drains that one from the corner. Good shot by Rogers. Gonna give Lakeside a 5-1 lead now. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was very well defended by Benton. You know, the, the defender was right on her. Uh, especially, it looks like she had a little bit of a... Yes, but Rogers did not care. She still pulled it. Deep three-pointer. No good. Air ball action from Benton. Rogers going to find Williams. Allison's going to take one dribble, then throw it up. Can't land it. Rogers already with... I believe that's her third rebound. Going to draw a foul there. Yeah, so good start for Rodgers early on. Five points already. Yeah, I mean, when does she not have a good start to a game, Mac? I mean, she's 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 almost the heart and soul of this team. I mean, she she finds a way to score the bat the basketball into the net, you know? Yep. I mean, those 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 free throws, those come automatic to her, so every time she draws a foul, I mean that's just three points. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Second free throw is good. Going to give Lakeside a six-point lead here. Rogers with all the points so far this game. So Bitten kind of on their heels early, you know. 
Yeah, you know, like I said, trying to prove that that first mat, uh, first meeting between the two was was a fluke. Oh yeah. You know, Lakeside they have gotten a lot better at conference as the uh, season's gone by. Gonna get the 22 in the paint, able to hit out the backboard. Williams with Welch defending her. Wilson's wide open the corner. Doesn't take the shot. Allison's going to drive. Give it to Reeves. Three-pointer no good. Got her be a lakeside ball still. <clears throat> Williams to inbound looks like. Yeah, Williams an uh, all-star freshman. Lakeside. Allison with the three. Just off the backboard. Spun around the rim there. Hate to see it. Little Nearly went in. Little Can't bamboozle. Williams looking for the steal. Getting physical down there in the paint. Welch going to drive and pass it out to one. Good defense by Lakeside. Thirty-five is going to do a little pump fake. Drive put up a floater. No good. I wouldn't call that a floater. That looked uh, more like yeah. a straight missile. <laughs> a Cuban missile. <laughs> no, that, that, you can't say that. Uh, that's my nickname, <laughs> in case you guys didn't know. Who calls you that? A bunch of my wrestling buddies. <laughs> I remember that a few years ago. Don't we all? We're past that now, though. We've matured. Wilson at the top of the key. No one really near her at all. Yeah, she, she was all alone at the top of the key there. It's like she's – did she draw a foul there? Was like I believe she They're going to give her a shot. Nope. Allison to inbound. Looks like she's going to give it to Wilson. Uncovered at the top of the key. Benton subbing in number 24 for number one. Put a little bit more height back out of the court. Rogers looks like she thought about shooting it for a second. A little second oh. thought. Allison thought about it as well. Good screen by Wilson. Allison, you know, we've seen that all year. She likes to take those, those three-point shots whenever she's open. Wilson, easy. Good little shot by her. Yeah, you know, we, we talked about it earlier in the year, but she really just reminds me of Patrick Beverly. Uh, you know, same number, same kind of mentality when she's on the court. Yeah, you know, a real, real big defensive presence. Oh yeah. And uh, you know, whenever, whenever she needs to shoot the ball, she can, she can do it just fine. Oh yeah. You, you saw it right there. Williams trying to get another steal. Gonna remain bitten ball. Coach Williams giving some words of advice from the sideline. Tell him to do the. CK switch, I believe. Wonder what play that is. I <laughs> don't know. Uh, good little shot for Bitten. Gonna make sure five to nine. Nine to five, if you will. A little shout out, Dolly, Working there. Nah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that, was, that was beautiful. Uh, Want to give a shout out to Philip Holly of the Hot Springs Country Club. Out of bounds called on Lakeside there. Lakeside fans not agreeing with it. Did, didn't look like Lakeside touched it last, but ref's going to call it Benton Ball. Yeah, these controversial calls, they're going to mean a lot for these games. And, uh, David, did, did you already mention that this game uh, was very big for um, the playoffs? Yes. You did? Okay. I just want to It's going to decide sure. who's the two and the three in their conference. Wonderful. Well, I mean, their, their conference records mirroring each other, you know. Oh, Williams, nice shot. Couldn't get it to go. Yep. Ah, number 14 here for Benton bringing it down. Humphrey, good, though. The good steal by attempt. Her. Benton's going to drive. Oh, blocked, blocked by, by Reeves. Reeves. And she's able to put it back up. Grabs her own rebound. Or won the rebound because shot never went up. Good defense by Reeves. And just like that, Benton's tied it up. Tied up 9-9. Nine to nine. Been on a 6-0 run here. Good little shot from Allison. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Humphrey. 
but she stepped out of bounds. Shot was a little short. Humphreys didn't look like she was prepared, prepared for that rebound. Or it wasn't really a rebound, just more of a catch. Good timeout called by Coach Williams right here. Maybe Lakeside can regroup. Yeah, get trying some, to get that uh, momentum back. And uh, with this break, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to give a quick shout out to our basketball 2023 to 2024 season sponsor, Final Touch Roofing. Yeah, Final Touch Roofing, they, uh, they are season sponsor 2023, 2024 in business. 2001, Final Touch Roofing pledges to provide you with excellent shingle, metal, flat, and stone coated steel roofing installation and service at a fair price. They provide free detailed roofing estimates on the same day, most instances as well. Uh, all roofing installations come with a five-year labor warranty, and they also assist with manufacturer warranties. So, you know, hit up uh, Fountain Roofing for all your roofing needs. You know, hail season's coming up. You're going to need that. Um, it's a dangerous time to not have a good roof. See, that, that, that's what it is. Supply and demand. You know, supply, it's there. It's always been there. And the demand's about to shoot up through the roof, so, if you know what I'm saying. So go ahead. Uh, through the roof? Pun intended. So go ahead, everyone. Go buy a roof from Final Touch Roofing, and uh, let them know that let them know that Mac and David sent you for uh, no. <laughs> you, you won't get a for discount. all your roofing needs. But, uh, if you do mention uh, Lakeside Basketball, I'm sure you'll get a little discount, possibly. Yeah, we don't even know if they know we exist, but cheeky little discount. We hope they do. Well, I know the you're appreciated, Final Touch Roofing. I know the owner. He's is uh, Sloan Hayes' dad. <laughs> you not say he's a good guy or anything. No, just, I, I, he's good. He's a good little guy. He's a good guy, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he is. Oh, boy. Shot's no good, but a hard foul. You get two bit. shots. You got me out of my seat right there. Yeah, you know, violent in the paint. That's That's been Lakeside all season, though. I go hard I mean, in the they, they don't really have the height paint. advantage very much, very often. Yeah. Uh, so they, they play hard in the paint to get that rebound. Yeah, if me and David ever get really emotional in this game, we just want to – let you guys know this will be our last ever broadcast uh, as commentators. So. Yeah, way to bring the mood down. Uh, second free throw is good. Yeah. Be nine eleven now for. Oh. Eleven <laughs> nine. <laughs> there you go. It's a statement. <laughs> Let's. Not. So Williams gonna drive Allison another three. This one won't go. Allison hadn't gotten any of her threes to fall yet. I'm sure she'll find her footing soon enough though. Yep. Yeah, Benton with a lot of momentum right now. Oh, tipped in the, by Allison, bounced off the head of number 22 for Benton. Three pointers, no good. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen at home. Like Max said, it will be me and his last time broadcasting a Lakeside basketball game. Uh, very, very sad day, but we're gonna be we're gonna be rooting for our Lady Rams, just like every week. Uh, Try to keep our composure. Yes, and uh, you know we may not be broadcasting um, these games, but Lakeside will be playing in the uh, state tournament, uh, I believe, next week. Yeah, make sure you stay tuned. Keep up with those. Uh, I, I can see our Lady Rams going pretty far there. Might as well. Might as well. You know, something about the state tournament as well. Um, the unified basketball team actually punched their ticket last week to the state championship. Uh, big shout out to them. And you know, you know, ladies and gentlemen at home, you know who's a big part of that Lakeside Unified team? Who, David? You know who. Oh, David. Yours truly, Max Story. Yeah, yeah, I'm a pretty Tell us a little bit about that, Mac. Well, you know, it's a it's a good little team we got this year. Um, foul caught on Williams. Um, you know, good little team we got, like I was talking about. Yeah, probably uh, the best team we've had since yeah. they won state you about know, two years ago. Uh, Athlete-wise, you have Christian, Nick, uh, Payne. I mean, you got some dogs out there. Go out there and get buckets when you need them. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen at home, trust me, I've seen the highlights. They're the real deal. Um, good, good little free throw by Williams. Um, but, yeah, and then uh, athlete-wise, we have Kyler Wolf, all-state receiver. Uh, Skylar Purifoy, another all-state receiver. Two D1 commits. Lauren Latham, uh, Kansas State volleyball commit. Don't forget your uh, leading scorer either. Max Story. Uh, well, not that one. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh, and Ben Vincent. Yeah. Who's, who's leading scorer? Uh, ben Vincent, uh, but I, I think he 
Well, I thought he shoots was, the ball quite often. I thought I it was here. Skyler, but uh, it's all right. Well, well let's get back well, to Well, he's – we'll, we'll, we'll get back to lady basketball right now. Not much time left on the clock, but uh, – So, Benton's going to go into the second quarter with a good little lead. Yeah, 13 to 11, Benton with a two-point lead. Yeah, you know, while we're talking about uh, this amazing game we have going so far, Amelia Rogers has really carried the uh, Rams all season long, uh, especially tonight. You know, she had the first seven points of the entire game. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's she's been she's been uh, she's made offensive statements nearly every single game. You know, she averages just just about 18 a game. Uh, we we've seen her drop 30 here at home before uh, in exciting matchups against Sheridan and Whitehall. Uh, Right alongside Mackenzie Williams, too, you know, and all these other Lakeside Lady Rams. Uh, they, 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 they're they great, quite honestly. That's that's all I have to say about them. I mean, they're, they're wonderful. Well, they're, they're, good bas they're good at basketball. Lakeside band very prominent tonight. You know, Mike, I think I think one of Lakeside's probably strong suits whenever they play at home, something that really gives them that home field advantage is this Lakeside band. You know, big oh, yeah. shout out to them. You know, they've been at all the home games playing as loud as they can. You know, honestly. I mean, we find it in, in, in timeouts whenever they're playing, and we're trying to duck to each other. I mean, I can barely hear myself think. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's a that can, that's going to be a big distractor for the visiting team. Good crossover by Williams. Step back. She thought about the three. Going to give it to Rodgers. No good. Back on offense. Oh boy. Lakeside had pretty good defense in the first quarter, only allowing a couple shots. Yeah, you know that man-to-man -man defense that Lakeside runs, it's it's stifling to some offenses we've seen all year. Yes, it is. Three-pointer by Bitten, no good. Quick shot. Did Didn't know their feet get planted because she knew that Lakeside defender was coming in quick. Good board by Wilson. Williams going to scan the floor, try and find some someone open. You know, at, at that uh, end of oh. quarter that we saw, stolen by Benton, blocked the shot from Williams. Good pump break, and Benton's going to get two points off that. But like I was saying, uh, at the, at the uh, quarter end, we saw Lakeside make their first sub in. Uh, Christina Ingram coming in for Ava Allison. Yep. Getting some fresh legs in there. Uh, first quarter went by relatively quick. But, I mean, it tends to do that whenever you're having fun. Yes, they do. Williams going to drive all the way to her left. Wilson with a three. No good. And Benton's going to come up with it. Lakeside needs a defensive stop here. Wonky pass across the court. But they're able to get it back in. Now, Benton scoring almost all their points in the paint. Lakeside needs to make a bigger statement defensively in the paint if they want to stop these Benton Lady Panthers from scoring. Number 24, Alexis Duck is doing uh, pretty solid out there on the court. Another three from Lakeside, no good. Rebounded by Rogers. Ah, the ball's going to bounce off her foot out of bounds. Hate to see it. Allison's going to sub in for Ingram. Lakeside with that same, same starting five they started the game off with now. Yeah, I want to give a quick shout out to Christopher Slayton, uh, former broadcasting teacher, getting the athletic director job um, just last night. Yeah, big big news this morning. We were met with in uh, our broadcasting class. The news that Chris Slayton, new athletic director for Lakeside High School. Congrats to him. Yep. We're sure we're, we're sure he'll do great. Shots no good. Rebounded by Rogers. Looking to go all the way. Going to try and make a move. And they're going to call a walk on. Oh, nope. little jump ball action. But it's still going to be Benton's ball. 
Yeah, Rogers tried to go up with it, but uh, number 24 for Benton was not having it. Yeah, that's Alexis Duck, 6'2", uh, small forward. Yeah, you see, she has she has a big height advantage over Rogers there. So, oh yeah, Rogers gonna have a, have some trouble scoring in the paint all night. She's down there. Yeah, Benton with a lot of momentum right now. Wide open three for Benton. No good. Rebounded by Wilson. They're going to give it to Rogers. Rogers against Need three defenders. No good. Contested shot. But Rogers is trying to get some points to the board for Lakeside. Been a hot minute since we had some up there. Yeah, six point deficit for Lakeside. Largest they've seen all night. Yes, it is. Been defensive basketball. Duck, gonna give it. Benton coach not liking what he's seeing. Something is flustering him. Oh, good little mm -hmm. mid-range shot right there by Ashley Marie Wallace. Rogers with the shot, no good, once again. Man, Lakeside, Lakeside cannot get that three-point shot to fall. All night they've been trying it, and all night they've been missing. Good steal by Rogers. Williams going to take it down. Allison for three. No good. Lakeside battling for a rebound. Wilson quick on Duck's tail. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> see what I did there? Quick time out here for Lakeside. Down by eight. Biggest uh, deficit they've seen all night. Yeah, Williams, probably smart timeout to take there. Trying to get his Lady Rams heads back in the game. Yeah. You know, not, not taking a whole bunch of really shots. Uh, and it looks like with that timeout, they're going to sub in Humphrey for Wilson. Yep. Another pair of, pair of fresh legs to get into the game. See if she can do something. You no, know, but Humphrey, Humphrey plays uh, somewhat similar to uh, Wilson, I'd say. You know, defensive. Yeah, they, they, they have very similar game gameplay styles, you know. Both defensive presences, but, you know, they can, they can really get the job done on offense if they need to. Yes, they can. Uh, so, Benton's going to get back with the ball here. 336 left in the... Second quarter. Looks like Benton subbed in number 12. Uh, looks like he subbed in a few new players. Yeah, Benton, uh, Benton has a little bit bigger of a roster than Lakeside. Um, one thing that Lakeside does have this, this week, though, is uh, they do have a couple freshmen on the lineup. Um, Mrs. Uh, we got Dakota Sawyer. She's a very prominent uh, big man, <laughs> big lady. Well, well say, uh, okay. See, it, let's just not call him big. Okay, that sounds bad. Okay, no, it's the position they play. I mean, it, they don't call him big uh, man. Small forward. We'll say forward. I guess I don't know. Yeah, center maybe. You know, Benton needs to put up a shot. They won't. Lakeside says going to run it off to the races. Great defensive job like there by Lakeside oh. and. Rogers gonna draw the foul. Benton is not happy with that one. Well, hey man. But boy, does Lakeside need it right now. They need uh, something in their favor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, Benton coach is uh, in the ref's ear right now. Not happy with it. But you know, Rogers, <clears throat> she's automatic from that free throw line. She just knocked these down easy. Yes, she is. Well, uh. Yep. Yeah, no jinxing. I, I, no jinxing. I, I, I don't want to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so 19-13, Lakeside down by six now. Trying to make a comeback. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Injured player down for Bitten. Gonna have to wait till uh, this one Benton goes gonna off. gonna call the timeout. Uh, no, it's a ref stop. Stop it, pretty sure. 
No, Ben got the turnover, oh, and then the sorry, coach called sorry, timeout sorry, so he get the player sorry. off the court. Yeah, that was a bit of a weird fall. Yeah, awkward fall. She tried to plant with the foot and didn't like what it. Very thankful for uh, Coach Evans there. Yeah, very thankful for both both teams and their oh, athletic. Uh, right by the uh, and their training staff. The training room, right by the training room. It's kind of no, it's that's not. It's not. No, good I'm just anyway. saying it's a bit convenient you now that we have such amazing um, sports facilities. Staff. Yeah, yeah. Such an amazing staff and facilities. LA Side High School ranked fourth in the entire state out of all public schools. Yeah. In everything. Take that into consideration, ladies and gentlemen. Good defense by Lakeside in the paint. Not good enough as <laughs> number 22 for Benton draws a foul. Well, <laughs> well if it was really good defense, they wouldn't have had a foul. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? First free throw from Wallace. No good. Student session is going crazy. <laughs> Second free throw is no good. So no points from the line that time for Benton. Williams going to make a move. Saucy little spin move. Allison for three. No good. And she, she shot that shot, I mean, four or five times already tonight, and she hadn't gotten one to fall. Yeah, but just uh, hopefully she can make some adjustments at halftime to get that shot to go. Yep. Yeah, that's just sometimes how it is. You know, you uh, hit it sometimes, sometimes you don't. Defense by Humphreys. Good point. Uh, good little shot there for Bitten. Going to give him an eight-point lead now. Yeah, Lakeside, Lakeside needs to try to start crawling their way back into this game. Williams with a long three. Luckily, Wallace tries to get the rebound and shoves it out of bounds. Still going to be uh, Lakeside ball here. Who's going to inbound it for Lakeside? Someone, uh, Humphrey. 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 Will. Humphrey trying to find someone open. Good defense by Benton. Gonna Long get to pass. She got mossed on. <laughs> Williams trying to make a move. She got stripped. Oh, Duck with the ball now. That's... That's literally what it's called, right? I, 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 I know. Just don't word it like that next time, please. Oh. oh. Good D by Humphrey. Way to draw ball. the foul by Humphrey. Oh, wasn't a foul, just out of bounds. Oh, no, it is a foul. Hot dog. Yep. <laughs> Hot dog. I've been saying that. Uh, Sound like Mickey Mouse almost, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> uh... Uh, <laughs> no, good shot by Williams. Williams trying to get Lakeside back in this game. Maybe we need to make more Disney rep. No, we probably, seven, probably can't. Make seven it. point uh, lead here for Benton six now. Six point lead, David. Six point six. lead. Oh, they gave him five. Was it 13? It was 13. It was 13? All right, all right. There's 14 on the, on the scoreboard for a while. No, it, it was 13. <sighs> Williams trying to get the steal. Wallace in the paint again. Hook shot can't go. Humphrey. Wallace has made a Rogers. statement in the paint for Benton all night. Kind of like uh, well, four four defenders on Rogers, but ball's tip gonna still be lakeside ball. I feel like Benton's defensive strategy almost all night has been if Rogers has the ball in her hands, we're all guarding her because we know who's gonna t be taking the shot. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, how it goes. Allison, give it a three. It won't go. Gonna get her on rebound. Oh, oh, oh landed right on the ref's foot. Ah, oh, come on, guys. <laughs> Gonna thug it out though. Gonna be lakeside ball still. Yeah, way to way to tough it out. Seems to be all right. Humphrey trying to find someone. Gonna chug it deep for Allison. Oh, oh no, Williams, get it. William does eventually get it on the other side of the court. Getting pressed. Only, 30, only 32 seconds left to play in this half. Good move by her. Great dribbling by Williams, able to recover right there. Yeah, her, her, her ball handling skills is just insane. Allison, three won't go. Rebound by Rogers. 
Ah, it's gonna be called Benton's ball. Ooh. Lakeside needed that call there to get one final shot, huh? I mean, there, there's a reason. About a half. There's a reason Williams is oh. uh, a freshman playing varsity. You know, we saw it right there, just just with her ability to chase that ball all the way down the court and it would be able to get it back up into so, her teammates' hands. A little read option there for Benton. It's gonna be Lakeside ball. Five seconds left. Gonna try to put up a shot here. Williams or Rogers looks like Rogers probably gonna take it. They're gonna cover at half court. Give it to Rogers. Rogers dribbling. Gonna put up a three. Won't go. Ah. So Lakeside gonna go into half. Down by six. Uh, and a pretty big game. Yeah, very wise. very low scoring. Defensive yep. heavy here. Yep. Only 15 points for Lakeside in the first half. The lowest scoring first half we've seen all year from them. Yep. So we'll be back after this little halftime break. Uh, we'll see in a little bit. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 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 oh. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. 
Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging. All right, welcome back to the second half of Lady Ram basketball. Lakeside versus Bitten. Lakeside with uh, not so bad first half. Bitten just playing a little bit better. Both teams off to a very good defensive start. 
Uh, neither quite found their footing offensively in the first half. Ball Bitten. stolen by Bitten. Couldn't get the free layup. But she's going to get fouled and get a sh two shots. Two, one. Who knows? I think it's just one, though. Uh, nope. 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 Two shots. Two? Oh, cool. Looks like she's going to get two. Yeah, they usually always just give them two shots at the line. In case you didn't know that. Well, sometimes they only get one, though, Mac. <laughs> I'm not they, a basketball say, guru. Well, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not Parker Hudson. They'll say one-on-one, -on -one, or one-on-one, -on -one if they do it. All right. Uh, Going to knock both the shots down, though. Make it 23-15. to Eight-point lead now for Britain. Uh, Lakeside trying to claw their way back, but that is not how you want to start it off. Yeah, Lakeside just making some little mistakes out of keeping him out of uh, out of his game right now. Good pass in. Stuff. Doesn't get the layup though. That's big for Lakeside. Getting another chance offensively to strike. Allison gonna bring it up. Er, nope, sorry. Allison, <laughs> Allison got the rebound. Uh, Williams Ooh. gonna bring it up. Yep, there you go. Williams gonna give it to Reeves. Allison gonna put up a three. It won't go. Rebounded by Reeves. Reed's going to give to Rogers. Wilson in the corner. Put up a three of her own. It won't go. Lakeside hadn't gotten the three-point shots to fall tonight. That's been their one real downfall. Yeah. If they could have gotten, I mean, even probably 20% of their threes to fall, this, this would probably be a top ball game right now. Yeah, it just uh, has not gone their way behind the arc. From the shot from Bitten. I mean, I, I don't think they've hit a three-point shot since Rogers' uh, first score of the game. That sounds about right, David. I mean, they, if they can just start getting some of these to fall, like this one right here, it'd be a different story. Yep. Ten-point yeah. lead here for Benton. It's a good thing that we're still shooting, though. Oh, Allison going to look for a charge. I won't give it to her. Rogers almost with a steal. Um, nearly. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, boy. 13-point lead now for Benton. Yeah, there's Benton's first three-point shot of the night. Or not shot, but make of the night. Yep. Rogers going to drive. Wilson in the corner. No good. Rogers down. Rogers slow to get up. Not, not what you want to see. Oh. <laughs> We're on the same wavelength there. I guess we are. Rogers. Rogers. Walking off the court now. At least she's walking off under her own power. Quick timeout here for Lakeside. Not what you want to see. Slow to get up. And, you know, besides Williams, or excited, besides Rogers, you see Lakeside's uh, second biggest scorer offensively, uh, Mackenzie Williams. Yeah. She averages just about 15 uh, a game this season, uh, and she's just a freshman. I mean, they're, they're going to get her for three more years. That is just insane to me, Mac. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like a cheat code. It is. I feel like I'm cheating right now. I mean, if she was playing with the ninth grade girls team, she'd just, probably average about 40 a game. This I mean, would not she, be fair. She's been bullying these these varsity teams all year. Yep. That's one thing to remember, you know, next year, in the year for that, in the year for that, whenever you're watching uh, Lakeside later in basketball. Just um, remember it all started here. Yeah. You know who's the first to commentate? Her? <laughs> Us. Oh, man. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fun to see how her career's going to pan out. Um, no, she's already ahead. Um, I mean, she, she's probably going to take over as the leader of this team next year. Oh, yeah. After Rodgers. I'm, I'm sure Roger's been a great mentor to her, too, uh, leading her now leading probably her this way. Could be looking towards the records book, record books, honestly, you know. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't see very many players that play all four years and start all four years and are yeah. really good all four years, you know. Kind of like Caitlin Clark, quite honestly. Uh, yes. <sighs> probably uh, the greatest women's basketball player on earth right now. Yeah, and she's only in college, which is crazy. Williams put up a three, it won't go. Ra Rogers, oh, We're shooting from the, the ground. The ground, yeah. Looking fine after that uh, initial injury. Yeah, pr really proving her toughness right here. Yep. Look oh. at that, coast to coast. Man, still gonna be a uh, bitten ball. She wants the ball. 
Yeah, you know, you can, you can tell Rodgers really wants to win this game real bad. Yeah, you know, if, if you want something done, you got to do it yourself, you know? You know that saying? I, th I feel like Rodgers is really taking that one to heart right now. <laughs> Carroll's fighting for the ball. Timeout, Bitten. They're going to keep the possession right now. Benton coach a little confused about what happened there. Ask him, what was that? <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. Oh, uh, boy. You know, while we got this little break, we want to give a quick thank you to our season, basketball season sponsor, Final Touch Roofing. Final Touch Roofing is the 2023-2024 basketball season sponsor. In business since 2001, Final Touch Roofing pledges to provide you with excellent shingle, metal, flat, and stone-coated steel roofing installation and service at a fair price. They provide free detailed roofing estimates on the same day in most instances as well. All installations come with a uh, five-year five labor warranty, and they also assist with manufacturer warranties. So uh, give them a call if you need the... I was, I was trying to rap, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Lay, lay some balls <laughs> on them, Mac. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. No, I, I, get, I get vicious on the mic. Basketball. My favorite sport. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was good, dude. Thank you. Basketball is my favorite sport. I the know, end. Yeah. Well, it's an actual song. No, but you stopped it right there, so that's your song. All right. What is, what is Benton drawn up here? That's what I call a caterpillar formation from my flag football playbook. Does it work? Oh, yeah. Throws the defense off. You know, you actually run a pretty good triple option uh, variable out of that. Uh, sometimes you can throw a quadruple, quadruple option. A pentuple option. There's not really a limit to how many you got, except the amount of players you have on the field. Legs are playing tight on defense all around, but they do find the open three. Officer rebound for Bitten. Another offensive rebound. A man, not another. All the offensive rebounds and couldn't get a single shot to fall. Got to be able to connect off them. You know that's just itching away at them. Like a bug. Man. Another shot, no good. So, Lakeside. Lakeside's come up empty-handed this entire second half. Three from Bitten, no good. Humphrey with the board. Yeah, Lakeside really needing a couple shots to go their way to get some momentum right now. Maybe this can be one of them. Hey! Dang! Good shot by Williams. Finally getting some points up on the board in this second half. Yeah, it took a minute, but they finally got it going. Yeah, a uh, very low-scoring game for Lakeside compared to their other ones. Um, yeah, you know, that they're an offensive scoring team, a unit, but if Bitten you will. Ha Bitten has been playing some pretty solid D on them all night. Um, and, you know, they just haven't got a couple shots to go. That's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, Williams going to drive the basket. Good little layup for her. Williams trying to activate her X Factor here. Late game. Two straight for Lakeside. Ben's going to call a timeout, try and get their bearings straight after the Lakeside's somewhat out of nowhere. Uh, offensive scoring just going wild with the ball. But it uh, looks like Ussery is getting ready to come into the game, give yeah. Ben a completely different look. Because whenever she's in the game, Lakeside has a real paint presence in the paint. Oh, you yeah. know? I mean, she's got the height advantage on, I believe, everyone on this court. Yeah. Well, maybe her and Doug may be the same height, but, uh, but that's going to be a good matchup to watch here pretty soon. Uh, if they do guard each other. Yeah, you know, you know, Duck plays more of a of a of a guard role, yeah. not so much a uh, a forward or center role, like Wimbanyama. <laughs> and the rejection by Wimbanyama. So he dropped ten blocks. If you, uh, he did. Yeah, he dropped ten blocks in a game. Crazy. Yeah. You know, if you're watching this back, first ever triple double oh. with blocks. Amazing performance Are you serious? By him. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Now he he's uh, I mean, that, that, he's just insane. It's crazy how good he is. Uh, I mean, it, he's a dog. And Dang. one for Benton. Count the basket. Beautiful and one there by Benton. Gonna make it 32 to 20. If they count it. Not sure if they will. Yeah, they're just seven a gal in. 
Wilson gonna sub in Humphrey. Free throw connects. Gonna make it a 13 point lead now for Bitten. Lakeside needs to start scoring more on offense. They need, wanna get back in this. Sound, found some success earlier with, with Williams. Good screen by Brooklyn. Pick and roll action, but rebounded by Bitten. See, the problem with Lakeside almost this whole game is that they're trying to drive to the paint and Benton is immediately on them defensively. Yeah. And they and they cannot get it to go from the three-point line. You know, they're, they're letting them have that three-point shot, but Lakeside just has not connected all night. There's Duck with the three. See, Benton's finding their stride at that three-point line tonight in the second half. Rogers is going to respond Whoa. with the oh, three. Offsetting the two shots there. Going back at it here. Ben going to drive. 14 in the paint. Shot's going to go. Now a 15 point lead for Benton. Shot won't go. Rebounded by Wilson. Wilson gonna put up a shot. And oh! one. Man, what a shot from uh, Wilson. Able to connect. Hopefully get these free throws. Yeah, this can be huge for Lakeside, making an 11 point game. 142 left to play in the third quarter. I mean, there's plenty of time left on the clock to for Lakeside to make this a much closer game. Oh, yeah. Now they can finish strong in the third quarter, come out of that fourth quarter. Saddles are blazing. Wilson couldn't get the shot to go, though. Yeah, they're really going to need to step up on defense right here. Um, I mean, they, they played pretty sound defense all night, though, Mac. I mean, yeah. only allowing 38 points. Yeah, it's that's, not that's bad. pretty good. That's pretty good. Really going to need to step up here. Foul Ben's going to draw the foul, though. <laughs> we have a little bit of disturbance here. A welcome disturbance, though. In the booth. Uh, so Ben's going to send number one to the line. First one's good. Dickerson's going to check into the game for Ussery. First time we've seen her all night. Yeah, you know, but David, if Lakeside doesn't come out on top of this game, it's not the end of the world. You know, they, they still... Uh, they're, still, they're still going to stay, oh yeah. you and know. It, or they're going to the playoffs. Whenever uh, Coach Rock gave us the uh, post-game speech at Toulouse in the park view, he was like, hey, you know, we still go to state. Yeah, we, we were just watching the film over that today. You were watching Parkview film? We watched, we watched that clip. Do you not remember? Oh, yes, we did. <laughs> That's probably yeah. why you're thinking of it. Whoa, yeah. Dickerson immediately making an impact on offense. Good job by Dickerson. Getting a quick little shot there. Yeah, but, you know, Lakeside, if they're unable to come out on top of this game, um, they still, you know, they can still do everything else they want to do uh, in the postseason. And Duck with another three. Great shot there by Duck. I mean, Benton's five points away from making this a 20-point game. Yeah, no, shot clock's going to be turned off right now. Benton may just want to dribble this one out if they can. But it's going to be Lakeside's ball. Lakeside's going to get to put up a shot now, possibly. Yes, thank you for finishing that. Excuse you, David. Excuse me indeed. I think you burped. I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I was having a little indigestion. Don't we all sometimes? <sighs> it's part of being human. A lot of parts of being human. Yep. Rogers going to give to Dickerson. Put up a three. No good. Benton's now going to get a chance to make the last shot with 11 seconds left here. Wilson almost trying to get a steal. Yeah, good time on the clock, but they're going to take the shot. It won't go. Battling for the rebound. 
And not going to put up a shot. So Bitten going to go into the fourth quarter up by 15. Lakeside really need to get something together to uh, end strong. And with the end of that quarter, we're coming down to our final quarter of commentating uh, for the rest of our careers, Mac. Yes, and uh, with that, we'd love nothing more than to thank our 2023-2024 basketball season sponsor, Final Touch Roofing. Yeah, Final Touch Roofing. Uh, they're 2023-2024 Lakeside TV basketball season sponsor and business. 2001 Final Touch Roofing. Uh, pledge to provide you with excellent shingle, metal, flat, stone cut, steel roofing installation and service at a fair price. They provide free detailed roofing instruments on the same day, most instruments as well. All roofing installations come with a five year labor warranty and they also assist with manufacturing warranties. Hit up Final Touch Roofing for all your roofing needs. Like I said earlier, Mac, hail season is coming and it's coming hard. All right, and you need a good roof, you need good shingles. And for all of your roofing and shingle needs, no one better to call than Final Touch Roofing. Number 12 for Benton. She's back in the game. She's been back in the game for a little bit, I believe. Uh, good to see her back out playing after a, uh, a scary-looking injury in the first half. Very true, David. Big thank you to the Benton and Lakeside training staff. Hope right back up on her feet. It, yep. Benton back on offense here. Williams on number one for Benton. Big height disadvantage for Lakeside and advantage for Benton. Now skill, who knows, could be more even. Definitely more even, I'd have to say. Williams, one of the most skillful basketball players you'll see. And there's Waltz again in the paint. He's able to drive, put it right in the cornhole. Gonna make the score 44 to 27. Benton with the lead. Yeah, Benton up big here. Wilson. Wilson in the corner all alone. She can take the shot if she wants. But Lakeside has not had that three most Wallace. of the night. She's gonna get him a three. Oh, there, there it she is. goes. So Wilson able to take advantage of the uh, defense. Uh, Benton going to put up a three of their own. They're able to respond. Now up by 17, right back to where they were. Rogers going to try and make a move to the lane. Wilson, another three. Won't go. Uh, it's just Benton come to my drive. attention that the... Uh, Men's basketball coach for Oklahoma is in the building tonight, Mac. I mean, we're in the presence of a, of, of a somewhat celebrity here. Uh, I, his name is not coming to mind right now. But, oh, Wilson with another three. That's huge. Uh, but he is uh, here scouting some of the Benton players. Uh, maybe even get some looks from Lakeside here. Oh, man. Sorry. Uh I lost the phone. Yeah, but the uh, Oklahoma head coach, that's pretty big. Uh, could be here for uh, – no, he's here for Yeah, big thank you to uh, Lucas Tuberville, big Oklahoma fan. Spotted him out of nowhere. I would, nev I would never know. Porter Moser. Oh, my gosh. That is insane. Yeah, that, that's, that's big time. That's big time. I'm going to see if he can sign something <laughs> of mine tonight. Uh, you an OU fan? You big OU guy? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Boomer tonight Sooner. Boomer Sooner, baby. Uh, Great def defense in the paint there by Lakeside. Rodgers down the court with the ball. See what she can do. Oh, pass. Good. And by Wilson. Wilson coming up big offensively here. The fourth uh, quarter. Yeah, she's, she brought the lead down to 14 for Lakeside here, bringing it back down into manageable territory. If Lakeside can have some stops on defense and some big shots on offense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just need some momentum uh, and finish really strong. Going to need to pull something out of the – Something out of their tricks. hats. Yeah, had, had some trick, it, tricks. Tricks out of their hat. Yeah, there you go. Steal by Williams. Oh! 
And... Uh, is she gonna get it? Is she gonna get it? Is she gonna get it? Uh, I'm not able to get it. Oh, but, but it's gonna be like that ball. Like that ball. ball. Like that ball. Wow, that that was. You didn't know who had it? Couldn't uh. tell. I was getting real stressed out right there. Didn't know what's gonna happen. Taking some time for Wilson to tie her shoe. She gets it tied. <laughs> Uh, I was at the alumni soccer game uh, for the boys on Saturday, and Isaac Carroll just took a knee, plopped down in the middle of the game and tied his shoe, and he almost <laughs> got scored on. And uh, <laughs> just got to mention that. Cool, man. Cool. We, we love you, Isaac. Hope you're doing good. Three from Wilson. Ah. No good. Rogers and almost with a steal. Still going to be bitten ball. Rogers, Rogers laughing it off. So surprised. Chirping in the number 14 ear. I think the Lakeside players are starting to realize that you know it's it's all right if they if they don't come out on top this one. Not that they want to lose. It's never good to accept, accept defeat though, Mac. No, you know? no. Well, you, you got to you got to play hard till the end. And Wilson is a steal of her own. Oh, almost went out of bounds there. She was able to get a hold of the ball though. Rogers. Uh, Rogers. Three. Oh, oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh. 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 Wilson almost got elbowed by the ref there on accident. Oh, God. Uh, but that's an 11 point game, Mac. It's never over. It's never over. You can never accept defeat. I, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said all that. that yeah, was, uh, that, that, was, that wasn't very smart of you. Hey, no, maybe, maybe if I do that more, Lakeside's going to stop, you know. Uh, let's not talk down onto our players, Mac. No, I'm like superstitious. Huh. You know, like, you, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, you do stuff and something good happens and you're going to keep doing it. So. I mean, I'm not going to keep doing it, you know, I'm just saying, you know. Perhaps. Perchance. Per se. Oh, boy. All right, Lakeside needs to come up big defensively Not much here. time left. Need a three. Four, a stop. 14 a on three. the clock. A stop. A three. A stop. And then another three <laughs> to get back on top. Just a few threes. A three just four threes, and you, and you have the lead. To drop. That was beautiful. Good job. Penny, top going. Right. Okay, no. Sorry. No, <laughs> no. Rainbow. All right. Uh, bitten back on offense. They've had a pretty good matchup tonight. Lakeside staying tight on defense. As we get down in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it looks like Ben's just trying to run out some clock here, but only eight seconds left on the shooting clock. Duck's going to put up a mid-range shot. Not going to go, and Rogers going to get the rebound. That's what Lakeside needs here. Yes, they do. Even if Ben runs down a little clock, it's okay if, as long as they get the stop. That run. Rogers going to put up a three. It can't, can't get go. it to go, and Wallace gets the rebound. Still going to be bitten ball. And looks like Wallace is going to get two shots on the other end of the court. Oh. Nope. No, he, nope. Held, he held up the two. Ah, uh, no. Oh, David. He did. I saw it. Well, you know, you can always uh, go back and watch the game. Uh, and yep. Whatnot. There, these will be on YouTube for forever. Well, not <laughs> not all of them will. <laughs> Some of them got taken down. Yeah. Let's uh, not talk about those. Hard foul on Lakeside. Two shots for Bitten. Lakeside crossing their fingers, she won't knock down these. Oh, I, uh, it's a race to 50 here for Benton. Bounces out. Wow, it's big here. That's big. Three minutes left to play, 310 on the clock. Mrs. Amanda Patterson sent me an email um, letting me know that the Oklahoma State Pokes or uh, Oklahoma State Cowboys are better than the uh, Oklahoma State Oklahoma University Sooners. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, maybe. Better call double dribble on Lakeside. Lakeside can't catch a break on offense. Oh, got a little gift here. Oh, how sweet. We just got a little gift for uh, commentating uh, from Lakeside Boys Basketball Team. 
big, <laughs> big thank you to uh, Lakeside Boys basketball team. Very thoughtful gift, but Williams does get the steal. Let's keep our mind on the game here, Mac. We might as well. It's what we get thanked for. It's what all the money's made for. Williams drives, puts up an amazing shot, but she's going to be fouled. Two shots coming up for her. Now, I'm not sure if these are for us or Lucas. Uh, <laughs> hey, but let's just pretend okay. for now <laughs> that right, they're for right. us. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Williams, you know, she, she's, she's automatic from the three-point line. Boom. Try to make it a 40. Try make to get him to 40. 10-point ten ten game would be really nice here. Second free throw is good. Going to cut it down to a 10-point lead for Lakeside. So they are able, if they are able to get something going here, they could still be in the ballgame. Oh, foul called. Blocking foul on Ingram. Now they're going to call it on Williams, I believe. Uh, all right. Won't quite show what went down there, but it is going to be Benton's ball. Yep. So just a little bit over two minutes left in the game. Uh... Another stop at your play here. Another foul on Williams. Forty to fifty. A nice pretty even number score. Yep. See if Benton's gonna drain this one and she oh. doesn't. Bitten hadn't, hadn't had the best luck on the on the free throw line tonight. Second free throw will be good. Going to make it a 11 point game now. Lakeside going to need to put up some quick shots here. Wilson had that one right there. She's going to put up a three. Can't get it to go. Reeves does get the rebound, though. Williams going to put up a shot from three. No good. Can't get it to go either. Benton's going to get the rebound this time. And uh, with 145 left to play. And Benton does get the rebound, but it's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be Benton's ball. Yeah, 141 left to play. Gonna be a tough feat for Lakeside to get back into this one. Yeah, you know, gonna have to get something going really fast, real quick. Minute 41. That's how long we got left. Duck's gonna put up a three. No good, overshot that one. Out of bounds on Wallace. Gonna be a Lakeside ball still. 136 left to play. Yeah, Lake Tiger needs some quick threes. Maybe a four-point play would be very, he very uh, helpful right here. Williams going to give it to Dickerson. Back to Williams. Williams tip pass. Back to Williams. Roger Smart play tipping it back into Williams. Dickerson, good pump fake. Going to go in for the mid-range now. Reeves, Reeves for three. Can't get it to go. Lakeside still fighting for the rebound. Wilson. So Rogers for three, no good. Looks like that shot got tipped in the air while it left her hands. One minute left to play. Smart foul, foul by Rogers. Bitten thought that was a bit flagrantful. Flagrantful. I like that word. I may start using it more. <laughs> Not gonna have many I don't know. opportunities to use it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Not after we stop commentating forever. Uh, yeah, so, you know, assuming Lakeside is uh, unable to come out on top, uh, it's going to be a bit of a bittersweet ending to the regular season for Lakeside. But that does not mean the season is over. Yeah, 13-point uh, lead here with only one minute left to play. I mean, you got to come to your senses and just uh, no. I mean, hey, so, something can happen. 
But uh, hey, never say never. No. Wilson from three. three. No good. Ben's going to grab the rebound. Lakeside fouled initially. Ben's just going to try and hold the ball for as long as they can here. Yeah, put up that final shot. But, uh, yeah, so with this game, uh, be put in the books. Lakeside is going to be the number two seed um, going into the 5A South uh, uh, state championship or state uh, tournament, state tournament. Um, so that just means you know, they'll have to play a, a team, the number three team from whichever other conference there is. Uh, Benton's going to have the number four seed. Yeah, both these teams, you know, this game, 13 seconds left all but over. Both these teams just need to look to the state tournament, see how they can best prepare themselves. Yeah. You know, all this really does for Benton, it gives them a little bit of momentum going into the state. Uh, something they needed after losing their last three. Yeah, a little shift in momentum. Uh, they, I could definitely see them making a run. You know, they're, they're a very good team. Oh, yeah. Second free throw is good. Lakeside, 13 seconds left in the regular season. They may not, be able to end Not the ending they wanted, but still into a great season for them. Yep. So that's going to be the ball game. First, uh, first home game Lakeside lost all year. Well, it was, uh, excluding Lake Hamilton uh, yeah, last yeah. week. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so that's going to make Lakeside's record 17 and 10 overall and 12 and 4 going into the uh, state tournament. Um, not a very, very good regular season for Lakeside, but they're going to need to rebound and come back even stronger for the state tournament uh, next week. Yeah, thanks to everyone out there who joined me and Mac for our uh, – our journey in broadcasting and commentating. Yep. Started uh, ninth grade and started from uh, ninth grade all four years. It's been a heck of a ride, David. Yep. Uh, but if this is the last time I ever on the mic, I just want to thank everyone. I uh, want to thank my mom, my dad. I want to thank God. Uh, and uh, Mr. Slayton, Ms. Dodd, do you have anyone you want to thank, David? Uh, no, you know, I just want to thank my parents, my siblings my, my 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 grandma my grandpa my other grandma you know everyone that's helped me along this journey especially miss Dodd and miss slayton uh put me on this journey in broadcasting uh big thank you to them and uh thank you to everyone out there who listened to us and watched us uh in our broadcasting journey yeah we'll, we'll quit yapping and for one final time i'm max story i'm dave lasalle god bless and, and go, go rams, rams.
Poppy Moreno.
He's the 2020 Angler of the Year, 2021 state champion, 12th place in the Team Nick World Championships, three-time high school national championship qualifier, and back-to-back late style fishing tournament wins. He's also been broadcasting for three years where he won the 2023 Team Arkansas Pupil Contest and part of the 2022 Unified State Basketball Finals Media Team. He's also on the Unified Team for the past two years where he led Lake Sacks with an eight-point victory over Maloney to advance to the state championship with zero points, one assist, and one rebound. He is headed down to Louisiana Tech University to major in mechanical engineering. Get it up for Cannon Fox. <laughs> Your next senior on the fishing team is Cole Martin. Not the Brittany, not the Brittany on the court. This is his eighth year on the fishing team. He was the 2022 TBF state champion along with Cannon Goss, his fishing partner, two-time TBF national championship qualifier for the better. Three-time Fastmaster High School National Championship qualifier. Highest finish this summer for the South Carolina, about 11th out of 481 teams. One of two anglers in the state of Arkansas selected the Fastmaster High School All State team. And is a chosen nation as a Fastmaster High School All Team American qualifier to Matt Bull. He is headed to the University of Montebello on a college fishing under the he received a fishing scholarship from the number one college fishing program in the country, the University of Montebello, plans to pursue a degree in business while chasing that dream of becoming a professional anchor. Good job, Paul Martin. <laughs> and the last senior of the night is Holton Phillips. With Ryan Shane Phillips on the board, seven years in the fishing, on the fishing team. Won Bassmaster Junior Division State Championship and won Big Bass, which qualified. He and his partner, Griffin Ralph, for the Junior National Championship in Tennessee. They placed 13. He also won the Big Bass Nation Central Open Trail High School Team of the Year in 21 and 22 with Hunter Willow. Qualified for the Bassmaster High School National Championship out in South Carolina. He plans to attend UCA, pursue a degree in biology with an emphasis in dentistry. One more time, the final senior of the night, that is Hilton. Phillips. That was a mouthful. This is a lot of singers. Let's give a big hand one more time. It's their last night at Lakeside. We want to thank all the coaches, the sponsors, and all the administrators for having that on these different, these different teams for these singers. So, moms, fat singers, if you want to get your picture, take the picture. Coach Landon, we're not ready for you.